So jealousy is a really terrible thing except وَمِن ذَلِكَ مَا صَحَّ مِن قَوْلِهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ From the things that are acceptable as what is authentically narrated from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم لا حسد إلا فتنتين There is no room for jealousy at all except in two things رجل أتاه الله تعالى مالا وسلطه على هلكته في الحق A man who Allah has given wealth and he is exhausting himself in destroying it spending it for the truth he just wants to get rid of it all. And the words are really interesting. Fi halakatihi, to destroy that one. I just, I don't want to look at it. I want to give it all up. It's like he can't hold on to it. He wants to give it up for the sake of Allah. This attitude of giving, when somebody has that, you say, man, not just, I'm not just jealous of his wealth. You know what, I, what you're jealous of there? His attitude. How does he have, I'm, how do you get that? How do you want to give money up so, so easily? Like it's hard for him to hold on to it, it's easy for him to give. What's the case with most of us? It's hard for us to give it, it's very easy to hold on. You know, especially when it comes to fil haq, in the truth, spending in the path of the truth. It's very difficult. You know, uh, fundraising can be like pulling teeth. For you to like uh, uh, give a hundred dollars towards the building of a masjid or you know helping out the madrasa or whatever else, right? This da'wah program or this or that, it's very difficult. But when you go to Walmart, you don't think twice. Yeah, swipe the card, it doesn't hurt. You don't think, man, this money could have been better used for you know the, the kid's college fund or this. No accounting comes to your head. But when it comes to spending in the path of Allah, all of a sudden all of you become CPAs. Man, this money could have been, I need it over there, and this bill, and that bill, and the whole financial balance just rolls before your eyes. It's like you've logged into your online account just sitting there in front of the masjid, while the funders is going on, right? And you think all of the reasons why you should not be giving. But this person, we should be jealous of, who when the opportunity comes to give, he just, let me get rid of it. It's like it's on fire when it's with him, and he just wants to get rid of it. This is the first person we should be jealous of. No, you know, some people don't understand this, and what do they do? Man, I wish I was wealthy like him. If I was, I would spend too. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Just like the money part. You'd spend, but not like he spends. Right? So sometimes we have these, you know, I really want to be rich so I can spend in the path of Allah. Yeah. You really mean that? <laughs> you know? Or do you mean I really want to be rich, and yeah, I'll spend a little, I guess. Because I feel bad. I said that already. <laughs> right? SubhanAllah, we can't play games with our intentions. And so this person, it's, it's someone to be jealous of, some, something to aspire. Then, وَرَجُلٌ أَتَاهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى الْحِكْمَةِ فَهُوَ يَقْضِي بِهَا That's the first. He says, a, a man who Allah has given wisdom, here we learn, just like mal comes from Allah, you don't earn mal, you also don't earn what? Wisdom, that also comes from Allah. And so what does he do with that wisdom? يَقْضِي بِهَا Number one, he judges by means of that wisdom. When he lives his life, he lives in according, accordance with that wisdom. So here we're learning the difference between knowledge and wisdom. You can have a lot of knowledge, but you don't act on it, which means you're not very wise. When you have knowledge, and you judge by it, you act by it, you live by it, you benefit from it, then you're actually wise. Knowing a lot is not difficult. You can memorize the entire Qur'an, thousands of hadith, you can learn Arabic, you can learn fiqh, tafsir, aqidah, you can learn all the ulum you want. You can become a alim. That's easy. That's not the hard part. The hard part is hikmah. Hikmah, the ancient Arabic definition of hikmah was you learn something beneficial and you act on it. If you do those things, then you are hakim. For example, fire burns. Simple knowledge, fire burns. If you still touch it anyway, you're not very wise. Wisdom would be you have beneficial knowledge and that leads you to proper action, you stay away from fire. So, so number one, أَتَاهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى الْحِكْمَةِ فَهُوَ يَقْضِي بِهَا And then the second, then the second, وَيُعَلِّمُهَا النَّاسِ He teaches the people with it. Allah gave him wisdom, and he uses it to teach the people. Here it's something else, Allah didn't say uh, he teaches people knowledge. He says he teaches people what? Wisdom. He lives by it first, then he teaches people wisdom. This is a person to be jealous of. This is a person that not only lives by it, but instills in people the love of knowledge and the love of acting upon that knowledge. May Allah make us people of wisdom, and may Allah make us people who instill wisdom in others.